Here we are going to start with a simple sheet of paper and we are going to fold it just three times to get a perfect regular pentagon. Of course, this sheet is somewhat special too, uh, which is apparent from its shape defined by this diagonal or rather the angle this diagonal makes with the width. That angle should be 54 degrees, which also translates into this angle uh, should be 36 degrees. So then we make our first fold, which will take this vertex and place it exactly on top of this vertex of the paper. And in doing so, we'll be bisecting these, this diagonal such that one half of the diagonal will sit exactly on top of the other. So you can imagine the fold line. It must bisect the diagonal, so we get two equal halves. And it must be a perpendicular bisector, so the two halves sit exactly on top of each other. So let's draw that perpendicular bisector and use it as our fold line here. Let us see how what we get after folding it. So I'll start folding this there. So we have got a shape now. The shape is somewhat like this and you'll notice it is already a pentagon. It's a symmetric pentagon moreover. Let us see some angles and we would know. To start with this angle was 54, this angle was 36 anyway. But when we folded it, this angle of 36 came here. So let me show that. So this is the angle 36 which came and sat here. Now out of this 54 degrees, if 36 degrees are here, it is going to be 18 degrees. So we have taken this right angled corner and we have placed it on this corner. But the two right angles are not sitting on top of each other. They're kind of shifted by 18 degrees. And therefore this angle here will also be 18 degrees. If it is pushed in by 18 here, it will be pushed out by 18 there. So this angle is 18 degrees. And that gives us one interesting angle. See, to start with, we had a right angle and now we are protruding out from it 18 degrees more. So that is 90 plus 18, 108 degrees. So we have accomplished at least one correct angle for a regular pentagon. Now, before we continue our paper folding exercise, let us see one fact from geometry to draw two arbitrary lines and a third one that intersects them, which is called as a transversal angles. It makes with the first line, say 80 degrees and the second line, which is 115 degrees. I'll draw one more transversal, measure the angle it makes with the first line, say 110, second line, 85 degrees. Now, if you add these angle pairs, say 80 plus 115, it adds to 195 degrees. Here also 110 plus 85 adds to 195 degrees. Now the sum of these two pairs are equal. Is it a coincidence? Let us check. For that, I'm going to make a construction, draw a line here that is parallel to our first transversal. And the moment you draw parallel lines, you start getting a repetition of angles. For example, uh, if the angle between these two transversals is 30, that will be reproduced over here. So this angle would also become 30 degrees. Similarly, if this angle is 80, then even this angle would be 80 degrees. If you consider the triangle formed by this, these three lines, this 110 is an external angle, which will be the sum of these two interior angles, say 80 and 30, 110. While this 85 plus 30 is going to give us this angle, 150. With every transversal we draw, we get two angles. One is more than its corresponding angle by a certain amount, while the other is less than its corresponding angle by the same amount. So although the angles are changing, they are changing, they are reducing and increasing by exactly the same amount. So the sum remains constant. We are going to use this fact in our paper folding exercise. Now let us get back to the pentagon that we had got after our first fold. This is a symmetric pentagon and one of these angles is correct and it is regular or irregular. A pentagon has the sum of its interior angles always constant. It is 5 times 108. So the sum of these four angles, all of them are wrong, but the sum must be 4 times 108 because this is 108 already. Then again, this is a symmetric pentagon. That means the sum of these two and these two must be equal, each equal to two times 108. Now we need to make correction to these angles. This 90 must be increased by 18 while this 126 must be decreased by 18. 
So we need to make equal corrections to these angles, add into one and subtract from one. So we need to draw a transversal, which will then become our fold line, which will make symmetric corrections to these two angles. So we'll again start with uh, the original shape of the paper. This is 36. And now we want the correction half of 36, 18 degrees. So how to do that? Well, just draw the angle bisector. And how do you draw an angle bisector? Take this arm of the angle and keep it on top of the other arm. So take this edge of the paper and keep it on this diagonal to draw an angle bisector over here. Even on the other side, we have to do the same thing. I'll take this edge, extend it like this and draw the angle bisector. This is going to give us two areas over here and here that need to be folded. These are the two areas. I will fold them in till this edge comes and sits on the diagonal. So we have a pentagon now in here. Let's get rid of this other junk. Now the last bit, the verification. Uh, we can do that by drawing a circle. Uh, let me draw a hollow circle here. And you'll see it is passing through the remaining two vertices. So our pentagon is perfect. The angles we had confirmed anyway, but even the lengths turn out to be perfect. And that is almost a miracle. One can prove that these edges are all equal using trigonometry. But how it happens and the fact that it happens with such simple folds is really amazing.